Um, okay, so we're using a Phase 1 DF camera uh, and an 80mm Schneider lens, which is a uh, lead show, it'll sync up to 800th of a second, which is pretty good. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to get shadowless, but from using um, a different way of getting shadowless. Okay? So what we need to do is get the light directly over the camera. Now let me tell you about a softbox really. Um, I think you asked a really good question Christina, what's the difference between the softbox and the beauty dish? The beauty dish gives you the ring of light really, um, whereas, and, and it is diffused but not as diffused as a softbox, and you've got more of a spread of even light and it's really nicely diffused. Perfect for doing product photography really, um, but not essential. You can actually make your own softbox by using, um, by making a little frame of wood, which is what we used to do, and put tracing paper over. It's just the same. Um, we've got the bread in position, we've got the camera in position. So what I'm going to do now is remember where the bread is, take the actual bread away. Look here, we've got some crumbs to go back to. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take one exposure and then perhaps going to explain um, a bit of trickery, what we're going to do in capture wall to get it perfect. So I'm going to pat. Hello. Hello Pat. So we're all tethered in to capture wall now and I'm just waiting for you to take a test shot. And what I'm going to do is just try and balance the whites so that there's no fall off or anything like that so it's all equal. What do you mean by fall off Pat? Like Sometimes on a white background you, you might get um, maybe it's this corner here will slightly start to go grey or just me. Yeah. Okay, so just to... Obviously you can see that that's a plain white anyway, but what we, we do, what we call it, analyse it, so that every shot that comes in afterwards will be perfect white. So go to this symbol here in Capture One, which is the lens corrector. And then come down to LCC and click on Analyze. Name it, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Christina. Save it. Now it's analyzing the image. So now you can see. Can you just shout, tell me what the corners are? All four corners are all equal. It's 255 at the moment. What does that mean? Um, Keith will have to explain the colour. Um, well, pure white is 255, so if it's 255 in all corners, we've got a pure white background. Thinking about it from a commercial point of view, from sending this to an ad agency or whatever. If they want to cut that out, or cut the bread out, it's so simple for them to do. Um, it's just a very quick selection, and they can cut it out and drop it straight into whatever they need to drop it into. So it's a brilliant tool, um, and I'll show you the results in a minute. So what we're going to do now is um, shoot a grey card. What a grey card does um, is give you accuracy in colour. Okay, so all we need to do, I'm going to let you do the uh, shot. Christina. So all we need to do is put that in front of the bread or in front of any object that you're photographing. Okay, that then goes into the computer. <clears throat> so then what you'll do is pick up your balance tool here, the white balance tool, and click on, I always go for mid-grey. So you can see looking at your product, looking at that, <coughs> Excuse me, that's quite an accurate colour. So once we've done the grey card and that's set, every shot that you take will come in perfect. Okay, and if you have a look what you've taken now, we'll go straight in. <laughs> okay. So the end result really is you've got totally shadowless, still retaining the um, shadow underneath, 
to give it a bit more of a 3D effect, accuracy in colour and accuracy in exposure. And then if you wanted to shoot other products, um, it's very straightforward to drop them on and drop them off so you can shoot products now really quickly. So let's say for instance you wanted to replace that uh, with my half drunk cup of coffee. You could just replace it. Obviously make sure your backdrop's clean, but if you want to take that, you'll see the same thing. Okay. It'll just come in again. Just perfect. So it's fairly straightforward when you're doing product photography to drop it in and drop it out. You've still got accuracy in colour, you've retained your shadow underneath, and your background has been analysed, so it's perfectly white on all four edges, making it very easy for anybody to cut it out.